Welcome. Let us begin. The important thing is to know how to take all things quietly. There is nothing quite as frightening as someone who knows they are right. It is right that we should stand by and act on our principles, but not right to hold them in obstinate blindness or retain them when proved to be erroneous. But still try, for who knows what is possible. Water is to me, I confess, a phenomenon which continually awakens new feelings of wonder as often as I view it. Nothing is too wonderful to be true, if it be consistent with the laws of nature. Lectures which really teach will never be popular. Lectures which are popular will never really teach. The book of nature which we have to read is written by the finger of God. Nature is our kindest friend and best critic in the experimental science if we only allow her intimations to fall unbiased on our minds. A center of excellence is, by definition, a place where second-class people may perform first-class work. There is no more open door by which you can enter into the study of natural philosophy than by considering the physical phenomena of a candle. I am no poet, but if you think for yourselves, as I proceed, the facts will form a poem in your minds. I can at any moment convert my time into money, but I do not require more of the latter than is sufficient for necessary purposes. A man who is certain he is right is almost sure to be wrong. The philosopher should be a man willing to listen to every suggestion, but determined to judge for himself. He should not be a respecter of persons, but of things. Truth should be his primary object. I will simply express my strong belief that point of self-education which consists in teaching the mind to resist its desires and inclinations until they are proved to be right is the most important of all not only in things of natural philosophy but in every department of daily life. It is on record that when a young aspirant asked Faraday in the secret of his success as a scientific investigator. He replied, 
The secret is comprised in three words, work, finish, publish. Nothing is ever too good to be true. I have far more confidence in the one man who works mentally and bodily at the matter than in the six who merely talk about it. All are sure in their days except the most wise. He is the wisest philosopher who holds his theory with some doubt. Physicist is both to my mouth and ears so awkward that I think I shall never use it. The equivalent of three separate sounds of I in one word is too much. With respect to committees, as you would perceive I am very jealous of their formation. I mean working committees. I think business is always better done by few than by many. Who would not have been laughed at if he said in 1800 that metals could be extracted from their ores by electricity or that portraits could be drawn by chemistry? I could trust a fact and always cross-question an assertion. The lecturer should give the audience full reason to believe that all his powers have been exerted for their pleasure and instruction. Thank you for your time. Stay strong.